Good morning, everybody. It is Jen again, and I'm out here on the road heading to an early morning primary care appointment. My six month follow up with the doctor, gonna get a checkup, gonna get some blood work. It's gonna be a party. <laughs> and I'll head to work after that, or actually, I'm gonna run through somewhere and get me a big old black coffee. And then I'm gonna head into work because I've not had any coffee this morning. Um, I was recently given the go-ahead to drink a little bit of coffee every day, and I just love coffee. I just I just want plain old black coffee. So I don't know. I'm trying to debate in my mind. We'll see where the spirit takes me where I go get it. I think where I'll be there's a there's a Wendy's, there's a McDonald's. There's, I don't know, I, Wendy's and McDonald's, I've gotten coffee both of them. I think they're, honestly, it tastes the same to me. But I just want something hot and caffeinated. <laughs> just some plain old black coffee. But anyway, I'm already dreaming about it. Can y'all tell? I was afraid to drink it this morning. I usually have a little mug of it in the morning um, before I go to work. But where I have to get blood taken, I didn't want to, I didn't want to drink anything that would dehydrate me. So I drank like three quarts of water this morning, which is not that much for me. I drink water all day long. I'm, I'm weird that way, <laughs> I guess. I see people like, people that I've worked with and people that I know, like they don't drink water like the whole day. And I'm like, I would die, probably literally, <laughs> but I would absolutely die. Sorry, I was looking back. I hate these stupid LED lights that people have for their headlights now. Because it's got this blue tinge to it. And I always think there's a cop behind me. Not that I'm speeding. I'm actually going a couple under. But why y'all gotta. Why y'all gotta do me like that. <laughs> but anyway. So I have my checkup today. Uh, happy thoughts for me. Um, I just. Of course I start going through every. Mistake and miss. You know misstep and all that. That I've made in my life. <laughs> At least over the last six months. I hope my A1C is still good. I, I wasn't as strict the last few months. I've pretty much maintained. I kind of plateaued out. I was still losing weight, but it slowed down. And I mean, that was an absolute um, cause of that was I wasn't really logging my food. I wasn't weighing my food. I was still eating the foods that I know work with me and what I need to eat, but... <laughs> I was just, I was going a little hog wild with some of them, and I did have a couple uh, treats around uh, December, so, which that told me, sometimes I try to eat things to see how my body is handling it now, and I had like a little brownie and a little piece of pie, and no, no, the body cannot, <laughs> the body cannot handle it still. I would, felt like absolute doo-doo for like three weeks, I was having heart palpitations, I was, that, that was a no-go. <laughs> We have learned our lesson. We uh, we put our hand in the fire and we, we pulled it back because that, that crap still burns. <laughs> so we can't have it. <laughs> but so now I'm worried. I'm like, oh gosh, because I'm hoping to be able to get off my medication soon. That's kind of what we're working toward. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Like I said, you, it's like your life flashes before your eyes. It's just, ah. Oh. Um, I have, in the last couple of weeks, I've buckled back down and gotten back to eating cleaner. <laughs> it just sounds funny when I say that. It sounds like I'm, I'm making like ice cubes out of Lysol <laughs> or something. Eating more cleanly. Eating in a cleaner fashion. <laughs> I always am eating cleaner and it just cracks me up. I don't know. Like, I would like some spick and span with a spritz of method. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, I've gotten back to it. And I've, I've been feeling great these last two weeks. Um, back on it. But, A1C does for three months. So, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um, gosh. I, I need me some coffee this morning. That's not good. Like, have y'all ever looked into why coffee works? Like, it doesn't keep you more alert. It just blocks these things in your body that tells you that you need to rest and that you're tired. I don't know. Makes a lot of sense with some things. But, gosh, does it taste good. I even was drinking the decaf. I mean, before I was told I could go back to the, to the hard stuff, you know. Because I just like the taste of it. 
I'm just a nut that way, I guess. But we'll see how it goes. Um, that's what I got going on this morning. I shouldn't be too late into work because I'm not far from my work at all. Which is, I love, I love being able to work in the same cities and stuff for the most part. That um, I like have to do stuff in, like you know, my grocery store's here, my doctor's here. It's great. I know the area. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Now I got to figure out there's a couple ways to turn into this parking lot and I'm running a few minutes later than I wanted to be. My appointment's not till 8 um, and I wanted to be there 15 minutes early but it's about 7.48 right now so I'm probably only going to be about 7 or 8 minutes early. Well, it is what it is. I get there when I get there. So, they're usually running behind anyway, but I don't know. I don't know when the first appointment is today. Y'all know how doctor's appointments are. Like, I could be in there and out in 30 minutes, or it could be two and a half hours. It just is what it is. Um, I guess I'll quit rambling for this morning, and I'll check in with y'all after I get out of my appointment. Because I gotta, like I said, I gotta think of how long I'm gonna get in this place. <laughs> <laughs> to get to my appointment and then I have to map out if y'all do this I'm I tell you I overthink everything I have to map out where I'm gonna go to get my coffee <laughs> I have to weigh the pros and cons we probably need to make a spreadsheet <laughs> this one has a red light this one's on this side of the road this one's <laughs> this one has a light I could pull out of this drive through I don't like because it's a weird McDonald's drive through that's got two weird lanes in it and then people have to merge and they're trying to run all over you and it, I don't know I could overthink anything oh there's those stupid LED headlights again I hate those things I hate them they're bright they get in my face they're blue I would like to um, uh, protest this to management <laughs> but anyway I'll see y'all here in a bit Alrighty, y'all. So, I'm out of my doctor's appointment. I'm about to head to get my coffee <laughs> and uh, go into work. It's not too late. They got me in and out. Like, they are on it today, even though they're really short-staffed and stuff. I swear, I love my doctor now. I hope she stays here forever. Like, I really like her. And, um, sorry, somebody was walking behind. And I respect, like, I try not to get people on camera and stuff like that. But um, got my blood took, so <laughs> and we're waiting on the results. Um, I just wanted to share with y'all. It don't seem real. Um, it really don't. But um, I can come off of my blood pressure medication. Is this happening? <laughs> Is this real? <laughs> I've been on the blood pressure medication for over a year now, but my blood pressure has been consistently good for the last few months. Um, she said I can start coming off of it starting tomorrow. I'd already took it for today. And then I just have to monitor my blood pressure. And as long as it doesn't creep up over 120 over 80, then um, I'm good to go. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? Um, and also, uh, depend on how my blood panels come back. Um, if my A1C is still good, I can come off the metformin. So... I will be, that will put me off like all my medications, all of them. I mean, I still take vitamins and stuff, but like all the ones that you got to go to like the pharmacy for, if you know what I mean. So, what? <laughs> what? Oh gosh, and I felt like I hadn't lost any weight, but actually from the last time I was at the doctor, either right before Christmas or right after Christmas, um, which was the appointment that where they ended up um, referring me to the dermatologist, the specialist that I have next week. But I've lost 13 pounds since then. So, what? <laughs> I know my scale at home was kind of iffy, but because my floor is not flat and that scale, like, you can step on it 10 different times sometimes and get 10 different numbers. So I usually like weigh myself a few times and the number I get the most is what I go with. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. I'm very close um, officially. And this is with my work clothes on and everything today. You know, work clothes, 
hair clip, shoes, work pants, everything. I think I even had some stuff in my pockets, honestly. Um, so, I'm really close to 100 pounds down with like in full dress. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. I'm just amazed and not to get all conspiracy theory, etc. and so forth, but it's just amazing being able to reverse something that quick just by learning, um, starting to teach yourself like what's in food and everything. And, uh, probably get into this more in other videos, but learn to read food labels. And I swear it, it just, the more I learn, the more I get pissed off, honestly, <laughs> the stuff they're putting in food and everything. And oh gosh, now I'm just, I'm on the journey. We got where I, I'm, I hate the word journey because so many people, overuse it and to try to sell you crap and everything but um i have about 50 or 60 more pounds to lose i think to get on my healthy way they're going to come off when they come off uh one thing um i'll probably talk about more in the future one thing i've learned i don't do you need to be such and such weight by such and such a date i don't do that um i do i focus on what i need to do today right now uh, this morning, you know, sometimes I can focus on the whole day. Sometimes what am I going to do this morning? That's what I focus on and if I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing then that weight's going to come off as it's meant to come off. The health stuff's going to happen as it's meant to happen. So this whole, that's one thing that has served me well and that I've, this is the first time I've had like really long-term success with this and everything is I don't do, I'm going to lose, you know, 50 by summer. I'm going to lose, no. No, I'm I'm going to do what I need to do this morning. <laughs> I'm going to do what I need to do for lunch. You know, that's what I'm working with. And if I, I and I string enough of them together, then what's going to happen is going to happen. So, that's just a little thing for you. But I, I just wanted to share that with y'all. How wild. How wild. <laughs> and I never count my weight as official until I went into the doctor. You know, the doctor scale don't lie. So, and even at home, unless I'm under a certain weight for like a couple months, I don't, and my weight fluctuates so much. Um, but yeah. Wow. There, I'm off one medication and a big possibility that I'll be off both of them. <sighs> goodness <laughs> it's doable y'all we can do this we can do this so that's another reason I just wanted to kind of share with y'all because I ain't done nothing fancy you know I didn't have any surgeries um, I'm on a budget I'm out in the middle of a food desert like I'm on the you know East Tennessee the little Appalachia area and um, I don't go to a gym I don't I don't do anything fancy okay <laughs> <laughs> I am the opposite of fancy. Uh, I, you know, I don't even have that much time to cook. I don't do elaborate stuff and it's doable. It's doable. So you don't need to buy no products. Some of them products are fun though. If you want to buy some products, do it, but you don't need to. But let me go get my coffee and then I'll be back with y'all. And then I guess I need to go and do some work at work. <laughs> They're probably like, the, it, it, I mean, it's crazy. All right, I think I'm going to go through McDonald's. <laughs> I think. It was between Wendy's or McDonald's. And I never go to McDonald's otherwise than to just get black coffee. They don't even got salads or anything. Um, every once in a while, I'll go through Wendy's and get a small chili or a um, chicken avocado salad. Um, that's another big thing. Like, you have to prepare yourself for times when you're like out somewhere and you don't have your lunch packed and stuff like what what can you eat you know that's been a big thing because I carry my lunch to work every day but I also am like a butterfingers like I do not grip stuff well and sure enough one day I was um, getting out of my car you know loading up my lunch box my purse you know all the daily essentials and uh sure enough i picked up that uh lunch box and dropped it and like everything splattered all over the pavement and uh yeah and i had to figure out what to get for lunch because the city i worked in 
was like 45 minutes from my house, so there was a no going home. Yeah, that was one thing. But as far as I know, McDonald's don't really have anything that I can eat. So, oh, I hate these new McDonald's drive throughs where they're like, there's like two places where you can talk to people and then you're having to like merge through. I don't like it. I don't like it. I like the simple ones. <laughs> I don't want it. Welcome to McDonald's. Can we help you? Uh, yes. Can I get a large black coffee, please? Okay, honey. Anything else? Um, that'll be uh, it. All right, honey. Your total is going to be 175. All right. Thank, Thank you so you. much. How do I get out of here? That's the question. All right. I haven't been over here. Funny story. So this McDonald's I actually worked at briefly when I was in high school. <laughs> Funny enough, um, it's been remodeled and such since then. Oh, there's a ambulance. Hope whoever they're going to is okay. But I actually worked there briefly uh, when I was in high school. It was one of the <laughs> worst jobs ever. Um, that's a whole nother story, whole nother day. I think I told y'all that they had my car towed. But I got my coffee, so. And I got a red light. <laughs> Two of my favorite things. <laughs> I love when I have to turn left and I have a red light. You just never know what you're going to get in these vlogs. Oh my lord, though, this coffee smells heaven scent. All is right for today. I've just had a good old day. I mean, alright, buddy, you're going to pull right in there. I love it when people, like, just pull right out onto you. He just, he looks like he's having a day. We'll just let him... <laughs> There wasn't nobody in the right lane, so I could have got, I got right over, but <laughs> you just never know what you're going to get in these vlogs, but I'm just having a, a really good day so far, y'all, um, and the pessimistic side of me is just wondering what awaits for me when I go in, because I already know I have a really busy day today. It's Tuesday, and Tuesdays are like my really busy day as far as my job function goes, but we're going to get in there, and we're going to conquer it caffeinated, so. <laughs> I will see y'all. I'm going to, unless it's raining or something, I should be um, um, with y'all on my way home from work. So, I'll see y'all then. Alrighty, y'all. Guess who it is again? <laughs> I'm on my way home from work now. Um, just got out. Ready to, I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat. <laughs> Some things have changed. Other things have not. <laughs> Oh, but I'm still I'm still in a pretty good mood. Um, it was busy today, but we've been having like extremely crazy busy days, and this was just a regular busy day, so it was quite nice. <laughs> and I found out tomorrow I'm um, starting training on this other big thing that um, is part of my job, so that'll be exciting. I have a fresh notebook ready to go. I don't know how y'all take notes. <laughs> I've tried to be that person that has just the the neatest notes for work. I, some people, like I'm in awe of people that can do them all digital. Like some people literally will just save stuff as PDFs and like their shared drive or you know whatever. I can't. I got I got to have something I can flip and rummage through and like place on my desk and just slap it open and have it there. I like having the digitals as backups. For when I lose my paper copy, but I'm gonna tell y'all what I usually will type stuff up or just write it right on the page, and then if I have examples to place in there, I staple them <laughs> in a spiral notebook, just staple them right to the notebook page. And then I bought these little tab things that are kind of like post it, but they're for like they're like tabs, like you get on dividers and stuff. And then I put the specific process or whatever on those, so I just look at the side of my notebook like. It's so 
messy, but gosh, does it work for me. And I, I've got to the point now I will print out or copy a nice version that I'll put in a really big three ring binder. So maybe like if somebody important comes in and they want to see my notes, I'm like, oh, look at these notes. I don't ever open them, y'all. I use the really jacked up ones. <laughs> Truth be told. But hey, it works. And right now I even have a manila folder that just has uh, it just says notes pending and those are things i've learned like on the fly and somebody's like hey watch this let me show you and i have just grabbed some random bit of paper scrap something and i have scribbled instructions on there and i just haven't had time to make them into notes that i would be comfortable showing others i mean they're they're scribbled on all kinds of stuff and I just have them in here and I have been referring to them <laughs> to complete things so we had a couple of days we we just went through in our department like different bouts of illness everybody except for one person like she has persevered and carried that department for the last like month uh bless her heart I don't know how she did I my hair would all be pulled out by now but all of us have been real sick and uh so we've been really short-handed and some things you know you just have to learn on the fly and you just grab what's there and you get it done so i don't know that's just a little thing i have tried to be the person that has the really neat notes and all of that and i find they're just not as effective as just stapling something on a spiral notebook page <laughs> And flipping through for the months I didn't even have the tabs telling me what it was I could just kind of remember and flip through it so <laughs> one job I had because I oh my gosh I was the, um, the head teller there and I would have people asking me questions about stuff all the time so I got to the point where I would literally just like print stuff out and tape it to my station not to where like customers could see but if you were behind the line you could see, and I'd just be like, look on my desk. It's like the third item from the left on the right side. <laughs> I did. I had like a whole wall. It was like collage, but like collage, but make it professional. <laughs> collage, but make it banking. <laughs> oh, gosh. That that job. Oh, I'm getting flashbacks. We can't go there. That was that a was crazy place. Um, and I would have so much information thrown at me faster than I could process it. I just had like a pile that was inches thick of things that I had to try to learn. And that was crazy. And we'll see tomorrow. I'll be interested to know because the thing I'm going to be learning is really involved. And I know it a little bit from the other side. But I don't know the back office side whatsoever. And so it's it's going to be a whole learning experience. I have someone just wonderful that's going to be teaching me. She's very patient with me. She's taught me on a couple other things because I am the woman of 5,000 questions. And some people just don't like to answer questions. And uh, we would not pair well together. And um, sorry, somebody was, I'm literally coming down the road and they were just going to be like, hey buddy, I'm just going to pull right out and smack into you. Luckily, they uh, were like, oh, there's a car there. But yeah, I am I am somebody I've just learned to. I think the older you get, the more you just realize how you learn. I have to have notes uh, because my memory's crap. But the moment I can pull my notes out, it starts coming back and I have to have screenshots in my notes so that I can feel that reassurance that, okay, my screen's looking like it's supposed to, you know? And I have to ask a lot of questions. You, I am not somebody, and it's a problem I had at the last place I worked. I am not somebody you can just tell me to set to do step one, two, and three, A, B, C. Just do it. Don't ask questions. This is the procedure. I have to know why. Like, I have to know how these gears fit in the machine, if you will. Like, I have to know. I don't know if it's the nerd in me. I don't know what it is. but And I have to understand why we're doing what we're doing. Because that helps me in the future not only troubleshoot, but I don't know. Like, I, it, I've, I guess I've always been that way my whole life. Like, how do we how do we handle this type of item? We'll do this, this, and this. Well, why are we doing that? Like, what is this item anyway? And 
why are we doing this and why is it so important to do it this way? And um, that's just something I have to know, especially when things are going across the part, or departments or across people. I, ha I wanna know why they like me to do it this way so that, you know, maybe they need this certain information on there because then they have to do this. Okay, that makes sense to me, let's do it. You, you know what I mean? I, I guess I'm not a good little, little, little soldier order taker. I have to know why <laughs> I'm that kid. Well, why? Well, why are you doing that? Why? That was me when I was little. <laughs> Drove my father up the wall. I was not allowed to ask questions. I would hit my quota. But well, why? <laughs> and it has carried on into adulthood. But it, it takes me a little bit to understand things. It's almost like I start understanding the outer layers and then as I learn more and all of a sudden it'll just click and I will have that down pat and that'll be it. But I have to know all aspects of it. I just have to. There, there's no other way. Why? <laughs> what and why and how? I, you know, that was one thing I, I, like I said, I had a big problem at my last place because it was like, you're only allowed to know this little box of information because you're not this level of employee that needs to know this level. And I can't do it. I can't do it. That's one thing I like about where I am now. I have a great uh, group that I work with. They they don't care one bit to explain stuff to me. If I got, I've asked them a billion questions. So anyway, that's just what was on my mind. Um, it's just a funny thing that I, I think about. <laughs> I would not do well in a job where I just, well, I haven't, that you just have to follow all these um, very specific steps and don't ask questions, you know. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm still feeling pretty good. I'm, I just thought about what I'm going to have for dinner again. Last night, I ended up having a... Um, egg sandwich with um, a slice of pepper jack cheese and a couple slices of bacon on it. I used a couple of them um, like keto bread pieces, which I'm trying to figure out an even better alternative. Like, I'm, I, they don't they don't taste like real bread. Just full alert. Them low net carb breads, if you're expected to bite in and just get some bread. No, you're not. You're not. Um, does it make, does it allow me to have my egg sandwich? Because, you know, a lot of people crave different things. Pizza. And I want egg sandwich. <laughs> and it's a beautiful thing. So I just buy a loaf of that and I keep it in the freezer. And I just defrost me two pieces as I want an egg sandwich. <laughs> um, but I need to look. I was doing some research last night. I wonder if it would just even be better to just get a really like high quality like organic wheat bread like if it had no fiber in it we would get the same effect i don't know that's something i gotta look into uh, because i am a fan of the like i want i like brown wheat bread i do not like white bread so and this stuff tastes like like if protein powder wanted to be white bread like or fiber powder <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The Lord, this car two up from me is just a smoking. What in the world's going on? They're going like 25 miles an hour and they stinky. Some little SUV. Honey, you need to take that thing in. There's something ain't right with you. There's something ain't right with you. Man, it's like black stuff coming out the muffler and it looks like a newer vehicle than I'm driving. That ain't good. I, I don't know enough about cars to know what ain't good, but it ain't good. But, yeah, I don't know what I may eat, too, with it. I was trying to think. I might fry me up a little, I don't know what you call it. I randomly came across a video because my phone listens to me and knows how much I love cabbage. <laughs> I could eat my weight in cabbage and just be sitting as happy as can be. But I want to think it was like Italian or something. It's one of those channels on YouTube that's in a different language, but it kind of translates it for you when you're scrolling your feed. So, but I want to think, I don't know, it's one of those cooking videos where it's like 
try cabbage like this and you'll never make it any other way. Y'all know what I'm talking about, them recipes. But you basically, you cut up cabbage. Um, this whole thing, it, it called for a quarter of a head. I'm gonna try it like half of that, like an eighth of a head. Um, but I'm gonna cut me up some cabbage. And I don't know, I have a bunch of it cut up. I'm just gonna eyeball it. And then you put um, some diced onion in there mix it all up put you some salt and pepper and then uh, mix that up then you put an egg or two in there depending on how much cabbage you have you mix that up and um, the recipe on YouTube called for flour I think or breadcrumbs well what I've been doing um, you know to not have that sugar and carbs from the flour and I just react very poorly to flour um, I've been doing crushed up pork rinds as the binder. So I put a, you know, I put a little bit in there and then you mix that all up and then, you know, you take a pan that's either nonstick or being greased or whatever. I prefer putting butter down. You put on just the lowest heat to where it's barely turned on. I have a gas stove, so just where it's barely, that eye's just barely going. And, um, you put it down there butter makes it not stick I don't know I've tried olive oil I've tried everything butter is is my go-to for the moment <laughs> if I have it I need to save next time I cook bacon I need to save my bacon grease and do it that way that would I think that'd be heavenly but you put it down there and you cook it for 15 minutes lowest heat on that side and then you flip it as best you can. Most of the time, I just I just do my best. The lady in the video had this fancy pan that, it was like two pans that you could hook together and you could flip it, you know, almost like a waffle iron or something. I don't have that. So, and I try to do where you put the plate and you flip it onto the plate and you do all that. That was such a pain in the butt. So I just take a spatula and do my best and flip it. And then you could get another additional 10 and um, the last three or four minutes, if you want, you can sprinkle the top with a little bit of cheese. I don't know what kind of cheese they used in the video. It was like this fancy Italian cheese. I just usually use shredded cheddar. <laughs> I like the cheddar. I know it's not the best cheese for you, but it's the best cheese for me. Because <laughs> I love cheddar and pepper jacks, my two, my two weak points. And then you put a lid on it uh, for that last three minutes or four minutes or whatever until that cheese is melted. And then you just you just take your spatula or whatever and you put that on your plate and eat it. It is so good. And to me, now it may be in my taste buds where I ain't had sugar in months, um, added sugar. But to me it tastes akin to hash browns when I do it that way. Cause you got the onions, you got the cheddar cheese Oh, it's so good. I think I'm going to have that. I have done taught myself into it. I think I'm going to have an egg sandwich and a little cabbage pancake. Oh, Lord, I'm nervous, y'all. My father has been outside working today, and he has rearranged the driveway. And um, I have been parking on one side of the driveway since the dawn of time. And now he's got me parking on the other side of the driveway. I do not enjoy this. I do not enjoy this. I am not about this. <laughs> I do not like this. I am going to protest. I want my old parking spot back. I do not like this. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. Okay, that just set me all messed up because now my car is like squashed between maybe if I back up maybe I just pulled up too far I don't know I don't like it <laughs> I've been parking in the same spot for years I don't like it I'm gonna tell him I don't like it he's gonna think I'm a nut but I don't like it I want my old spot back he can park here I don't want it <laughs> did I mention I don't like it oh my gosh that threw me for a loop now you wait. I'm going to have to back out of here. It is not easy to back out of my driveway. I have to back up on a like hill that's like this. I'll see it back there at hill. And it's very difficult to do. And i got to do this half awake heading to work early in the morning. And there's a huge daggone hole in the road. I don't like it. I'm going to get him to switch it. 
I'm gonna be like, listen, I'm a nut. Please switch it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Can you do it? Can you switch it? The hole's okay right now, but once it rains, it's gonna be this big old thing. And he's got a big old truck. And uh, I do not. <laughs> I have a little B car. Like, the top of my car don't even get up to the bottom of his window. I don't know. That threw me for a loop. But thank y'all for spending the day with me. It's been a little bit of a roller coaster. I'm going to get in there because I have been talking about this cabbage thing. And I want to eat it, like, now. And I've got to wait at least 25 minutes. Luckily, I have pre-sliced some onions or chopped them up. And I keep them in a mason jar for a few days. And I have some crushed up pork rinds in the freezer ready to go for me. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Well, I'll see y'all soon with another messed up little podunk car vlog. <laughs> Bye, guys.